So today's video is on this watt cycle battery that they sent me. It's a 12 volt, 280 amp hour, smart edition, Bluetooth mini, 200 amp hour BMS on this. And it's got 3,584 watt hour on this. It is um, pretty nice battery. It's like 15 inches by nine inches by 10 inches on this. And it came in a box, I, it, it's 57 pounds, so I had to take it out of the box. There was no way I was gonna struggle with that, trying to get that out while I was trying to do a video. So they give you two sets of bolts here to go on the post. The longer one's already in there, that's 16 millimeter, and this one is 12 millimeters. And then they give you these caps that go along with this on there so you can keep this from being shorted out. Um, they give you the handles on both sides that just collapse right back down in there to pick it up and carry it. And that comes in really handy because like I said, it's 57 pounds. Then they give you the um, user manual for the 12 volt series. This is so new, it's 280 and it's not even on here. <laughs> it's not even, um, up, updated in this user manual, but we'll be able to take a look at this. So they give you a bunch of cautions in here. Make sure you read these over before you use it. They um, show you that you can download from Apple Store or Google Play, and all you have to do is go in there and put Watt Cycle. Uh, you'll be able to find the app. And I, I downloaded the app, but it's on the phone I'm using uh, to record this. And it took like two minutes to download and recognize the battery. And then I was able to start messing with the settings and that. So we'll do a separate video on that. But some of the key features on this is it's lithium iron phosphate life po4. Uh, battery management system on this. It um, will, once it gets to 14.1 volts, it top balances the uh, cells in here. And these are EV cells in here. These are... Um, the best rated cells they put in here. So they're not B cells or anything. They're top performance E cells. Uh, support for charging and discharging. Um, I'm sorry, supports fast charging and discharging. Constant voltage and full usable capacity at any state. IP67 rated for dust and water resistant. And grade UL... 94 V-0 for fireproof on that. And they give you some external features on here. And, you know, nylon handles, positive terminal, negative terminal, um, basic information. They show you a charge and discharge curve to kind of give you an idea of uh, what you can expect. Um, here's a connection diagram for the wiring for a 12 volt 50 amp or 50 amp hour battery that they have in here to give you a basic schematic setup. And then over here for the BMS, you just find your battery and look down and they have the standard maximum continuous charging, max continuous discharge current, overcharge, overcurrent discharge protection, overcurrent charge protection, the weight, and the dimensions. So you just need to find your battery and find that. And then they have the battery parameters in here uh, for your temperature cutoffs, for your high and low temperature cutoffs. Your rated voltage nominal is 12.8 volts. Uh, it charges up to 14.6. And then the uh, shipping voltage is usually between 12.8 and 13.8. Five. Ours was 13.3 when we opened this up, so it was pretty much fully charged. Um, and, you know, you look on the, um, for these battery parameters, look up here on the top for your battery and see. So, uh, shipping capacity could be 50% 50, 50 but like I said, ours was 100. You get 6,000 cycles out of this at 80% depth of discharge. And this will only discharge less than 3% per month in storage. 
you can hook up, um, wire up four in parallel and then four series for a total of 16 batteries. And they'll show that later on in this um, booklet. The talks about the communication, your case material, the waterproof, IP67, your battery pack certifications, uh, your cert cell certifications, storage temperature between 32 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And then your bolts are M8s and they're 12 millimeter and 16 millimeter lengths. So on the charging, you want to make sure you're using a lithium iron phosphate or a LifePo 4 battery charger that will charge up to 14.6. And they give you some examples in here of if um, they give you your battery up here. And then if you're charging at 20 amps or 50 amps, it'll tell you the length of time it should take to charge your battery. Uh, they give you um, information on the installation environment. Uh, preparation for installing it, inspection, make sure it doesn't have any defects or anything that could um, make a negative impact on the battery's performance. Uh, you get cable size chart over here um, for your expected load. You'd want to look if you were going to use um, expected load of 50 amps, you'd want an 8 gauge wire over here. So, but you can look on this chart here. Uh, the best practice guides, make sure you use the same brands, same battery type, lithium iron phosphate or life pole 4, uh, same voltages, same capacity, and the two batteries or more should all be purchased within three months of each other. Uh, they show you here how to wire up the uh, parallel connection of four of them, series connection, and then series and parallel connection for 16 batteries. And then they have overcharge protection of 14.4 volts, over discharge of 9.2 volts, uh, charging temperatures of 149 degrees and 65 cel Celsius, uh, discharging high temperature protection 158 degrees Fahrenheit, 70 degrees Celsius, low temperature charging, discharging. The BMS will not allow charging current uh, after 32, once it hits 32 degrees or zero degrees Celsius, but will continue to discharge down to minus four degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. Then they have overcurrent short circuit discharge protection. If you do that, you'll have to disconnect the cables to the battery and you should have at least 10.8 volts in there. If you don't, you can't get that to reset. Uh, give them a... Um, a call. There's a phone number in this booklet, and also they have a email address. Service at what Watt Cycle Batter. Service at WattCycle.com. And then there's cell balancing. Once it gets over exceeds 14.1 volts, it'll start doing the cell balancing on that. You can go back to page three to look for um, the data on there, and the data is right here on page three. Wide applications, you can use this for an RV, uh, solar energy storage, industrial battery, uh, fit for replacing a 12 volt lead acid battery, uh, home energy storage and power walls, nautical applications, fishing, boating electronics, ice fishing, recreational vehicles, um, off grid, life and deep circulation, circulation applications. This battery is not suitable for starting gasoline engines. Don't put this in the uh, engine compartment of something that is a gasoline-powered vehicle. It's not meant for that. They have, via they have batteries meant for that, and they're specifically say you can use in vehicles with gasoline engines. So look for those. And what should I do if my battery is zero volts? You can contact them um, at service at wattcycle.com. Is it necessary to charge the battery out of the box? Um, we were 13.2 uh, or 3 right out of the box, so we were pretty close to 100%. How can I check my battery voltage? 
And then can the battery be mounted in any position? It says you can mount it in any position. You just want to make sure that you have it uh, secured and with some mounting straps or something in there that uh, the battery cannot move around and be um, shorted out. So we're going to take and test this battery and we are at 13.34 volts and that's right out of the box. So that pretty much is fully charged. Now, this has 3,584 watt hour battery capacity on this. And we're, when we get a uh, 12 volt DC to 120 volt AC pure side inverter, 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 we're going to connect it to this. And then we're going to run, the first test is going to be running that 12,000 BTU mini split that has a um, watt limiter on there that we can keep it below 600 watts. So that'll be a good test. That's a 12,000 BTU. Normally, the other ones I have are like 1,200 watts they go up to, and they'll hang there uh, until the room reaches a temperature. Then they'll start coming down, but they might come down to six, 800. This will actually, once it, um, if it's on the limiter, it can stay between like 230 and 300 watts. So I'm hoping that it'll stay between that 230 and 300. And with this at um, 300 watts per hour times 10 hours, that'd be, you know, 3,000 watts. And this is 3584, I believe, yeah, 3584 watt hour capacity. So we're going to see, maybe tonight we'll test this out and see how long we can run it and put it on there like uh, eight o'clock and come out at six o'clock in the morning and see if it's still running the uh, mini split. So that's gonna be our first test. But they sent this to me and wanted me to give a review on it and I'm looking at it and telling you everything about it. And I'm looking forward to um, doing the testing on this. Now this, is the equivalent of like three of those batteries over there, except you don't have to run all those cables. All those three batteries are pretty much um, connected inside this battery. And what I read on there, they were testing these and they were coming out higher than 300 uh, amp hours. So those are 100 amp hour batteries. Those are actually minis. And then I have some regular ones, this size right here that are bigger and those are 100 amp hours, um, but I need three of those for one of these. So this really compact in here with a lot of power storage in this. So we're gonna really have a fun time using this. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the description and if you click on the link, you can get a 6% discount um, when you go to their website, that link will actually take you to their website and you can look around and see all the products they have. And, uh, if you purchase something through there, you get a 6% um, discount and they give us a small percentage of that sale as well. Um, and then we can take and, um, buy other products and test things out. So we're really looking forward to testing it out, especially when we go camping and really actually take it out there in the field and see because if i could run that 12,000 btu mini split off of this one battery i'm going to change out the 9,000 one in there that's not high efficiency and i'll be able to run this thing all night long <laughs> especially i could pull a curtain on that thing and it's a very small area it's like uh 24 um it's like eight by eight so I mean, it's like 64 um, cubic feet that it would be. And that's a 12,000 BTU. That can do 600 square feet. So this should easily get me through the night. I'm really looking forward to this. And this will fit in so many different places in my uh, motor home that uh, it would be really nice. I was looking at using those. Now, three batteries makes up this, but four 12-volt batteries makes up this four 
100 um, amp hour batteries. So one more battery and, you know, that would be the same uh, battery storage as one of these uh, 51 20 volt uh, server rack batteries. So you can see how compact this is. Um, in that space, I could get two of these side by side, put them in parallel for what one of these make up that circumference right there and be able to have um, uh, around six, no, actually that would be uh, three, almost three kilowatt, six kilowatt hours on there um, for two batteries. So, no, it's got to be more than that because four of those makes five kilowatt. So, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it'd probably be around six to seven kilo, kilowatt hour uh, battery bank. So, that's pretty much it. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And uh, I'll leave a link in that description. Go there and you can check out their products. And there's a place in there to contact them if you have any questions for them too. Hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day.